Hi, this is Joachim, and uh, almost said Joachim Comic Center Bear. I guess we're gonna take a page out of that old book in this video because I'm going to talk about something comic book related that would be what I am looking forward to and what I have been pre ordering for the books of 2023. Anticipation for the return of the haul video as I am now recording this and waiting for two packages to arrive and hopefully the haul video won't be too soon after this one but yeah let's um, check out what books I'm waiting for first one the superior spider-man omnibus volume one I have been waiting for this ever since the series got finished up collecting within the oversized hardcover edition. So of course I had those, I nurtured them and I read them twice or thrice. But uh, the omnibus format is of course the ultimate edition for me as I want to reduce the number of books in my collection but still have the same material. And yeah, it's one of my favorite runs. It's one of the uh, runs that got me into comic book collecting when I started 10 years ago. So I picked up the very first number one single issue of Superior Spider-Man and I was hooked and I had not even read Big Time at that time. So yeah, I got caught up on the previous issues of course after time but the Superior Spider-Man was a truly amazing run, pun intended. And yeah, one of Dan Slott's very best works within his Spider-Man run. And then there is more Spider-Man books. Number two, we have the Nick Spencer Amazing Spider-Man run, volume two, Omnibus. And of course, I haven't shown you volume one yet because it has not yet arrived. And I think it was released last year, so it wouldn't officially be on this list. And yeah, I'm highly waiting that because that will include material that I have not read before and I have read the some of the first half of volume one but the volume two will truly have new material for me which gets me excited because it was a really long time since I read anything new from Spider-Man. So I love Ryan Otley's artwork and Nick Spencer can give or take I mean Morning Glory's image love it but then again we had that captain america event and did not even finish that so it could be hit or miss when it comes to the end of it but still wanted in my collection for now then number three we have more spider-man books and there's a lot of spider-man omnis just because i guess it's an anniversary year of sorts the third one is spider-man omnibus beyond and this goes even further down the road after Nick Spencer's run. I think it's not Seb Wells or Joe Kelly. I don't even know the writer, as you can see. So this is truly blind territory for me. And yeah, I was still, I was so just amazed by them. That was not intended. And that they collected so much in such a short time and then got uh, pre-orders for it for so many Spider-Man Omnibus but I guess more new material and I can judge it by myself once I get it and yeah I actually also finally decided to have a different cover than the rest of them and I chose the Black Cat Mary Jane uh, cover just because why the hell not? Plus, uh, I love Umberto Ramos. I, I have a spot, soft spot for him. Okay, so we have had a lot of Marvel Spider-Man omnibus now. I'm trying to dilute this by introducing the fourth book. That is The Absolute Three Jokers by Jeff Johns and Jason Fabok. Ever since the series got released in standard hardcover, that is when I bought it and read it for the first time. I kind of knew somewhere that they would make an absolute edition of this and i'm very happy for it the same with doomsday clock with jeff johns and oh anderson something oh god gary frank oh my god i can't even 
I don't know what I was thinking. The Free Jokers is a book that I anticipated that this is gonna get a absolute as soon as the standard hardcover was released and I read it for the first time because the artwork was just fabulous. And it's not the biggest or longest story, but still for the artwork, highly weighted for me. And then we go back into Marvel because DC, come on, you have to give me some more stuff. I'm kind of playing for your team here, really. But what more do we have? We have a new Ultimate Spider-Man Omnibus volume number three coming out this year. And I have read it in the oversized hardcover collection, but now when they're so close into collecting every material into Omnibus format, I has to get it. And I want to, as I said earlier, lower my number of books within my collection without actually giving up any material. So we have that and once again I'm going with the symbiote variant, this time Carnage once again. Then we also have the Jason Aaron 4 Omnibus Volume 2 that is gonna finish off that series and I'm very happy for it to be actually my officially first four omnibus uh, or first four series ever that I have read and made quite an impression and kind of got me going for wanting to pre-order some other four stuff in the future. And then we go back to DC with a lightning from blue sky. <laughs> Did not think that they would ever release this. The Green Lantern Corps by Patrick Gleason, volume one. And this kind of coexists with the Jeff Johns series of Green Lantern and was kind of a backup stories, but in some of the stories it even went beyond what Jeff Johns made with Hal Jordan. So we focus on other members of the Green Lantern Corps. So it was nice to get a surprise out of DC actually getting back into the omnibus game and hopefully more to come. And then we have uh, at least one more book that I can think of for this video that I think I missed out on the pre-order actually, but I'm still getting it whenever it is released officially. And that is the Brand New Day Spider-Man Omnibus Volume 1. And I think they would be able to collect the whole Brand New Day within two Omnibus. I would think so, because then we would jump into Big Time by Dan Slott. But of course the Brand New Day is the era that started after the J. Michael Straczynski uh, wrapped up and then we got a whole new team uh, also called or known as the Spidey Brain Trust which I think was four or five different writers going back and forth between them for I mean it was a web of stories it, it really was because they released I think a new issue every other week. It's one of my favorite eras actually and they take Peter Parker back a step into single life uh, trying to get just pay rent new villains. Actually some interesting ones some less so but I still love the brand new day era and cannot wait for it to have it collected within just a few omnibus because it was spread out over 30 standard hardcovers before that with just maybe four or five issues in between each and every one of them and third times we're trying to compress the collection now to a more decent sized number for me that is i think that is some i would not say all of the books that i'm anticipating for 2023 but we might have an update halfway through the year and until then i thank so much for watching this video i will return with another one. If it's a whole video, we'll see. If it's something other thematic, I guess we'll see. Thanks so much for watching and check out the links below for Instagram and other stuff. And I'll see you in another video. Bye bye.